Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been about a month since I last uploaded. I just really wanted to enjoy my month's vacation away from school, but I didn't want to keep you guys hanging for too long. There's a lot that we've done over the time of November and December, and though it is a little late, I feel that it would still be appropriate to show you guys. So first off, we installed airlift suspension with 3P management with Bag Rider super low struts on Jonathan's 2021 WRX in exchange for his Fortune Auto 500s that we installed a year ago. I actually really digged the air outlook of the Bag Rider super low struts. I'm kind of sad that they didn't release these yet when I bought my bags, but maybe soon we can pick up a set for my WRX. Next, I also installed some 444C dual compressors on my air tank in exchange for my old 380C dual compressors that were leaking and that were popping fuses like all the time. I believe I popped over 30 fuses and would have my air tank at zero PSI every morning. It literally sucked. Lastly, Agisai Club threw its second car meet, co-hosted along with Next Gen, Star Team SD, and Michael Litz Club, and it was a super sick turnout. In fact, uh, let's go start the video video with those clips right now. Okay, Jonathan, what is going on? So we threw a meet today with Next Gen and... What's up, boy? Yo, what the... Say what's up to Nico. Hi, Nico. Hi. Uh, oh, Ooh. that was good. Should I just lay this one Wait, on? Wait, let me see the tea. Okay, check it out, guys. Next Gen's new, new tea right there. Go give him a follow. Check out this thing. Ooh. Yo, this thing is so clean. Look at it. The color is cute. Look who finally decided to show up, guys. Oh my gosh! You want me to park up, guys? I'll park right here. Oh, he's filming right now. My bad. I don't want to get in that. We got Nathan getting into it, too. So that's really all that's. It's so clean. Like it's actually clean. Yeah, look at the red. He got this paint job done. And then you got these Advan wheels going on here too. Bro, their whole crew is like a whole lineup. And Jonas's Integra is amazing. With the TEs on, bro. And the Recaro. Look at it. Check out the Recaro, bro. This man got Recaro seats inside with a short shifter. Bro's in a race car. Like, I swear. A whole race car. All right, then we got Robbie, bro. You might just look like an FRS, guys. But check out the front bumper. He put a GR86 front bumper onto his car. It's absolutely wild. Oh, holy snap! Hey, it's Angelo! <laughs> yo! Hey, yo! The Angelo family, they pulled up. That's insane. Hey, look at it! It's Leo! <laughs> this thing is nuts. Check that out. And then we have Anthony Dins Type 1. Looks stock, right? You just got the ram lights on, and then he took off his Type R wing and he put this beautiful thing on. Careful, guys. Gonna hand you the gap. Yeah, he has a fully built motor and just everything. It's absolutely fast. He really wants it. No, it's Angelo! Okay. Where's your car at? It's in the detail. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Hey, you got some good flicks, bro? Yeah. Yeah? I'm gonna send you some. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. I'm gonna let him know. What's your Instagram, bro? King underscore Breezy. Oh, okay, okay. This man's like monstrous with the filmies. You gotta like check him out. Look at this goof. This is nuts. look happy look at him just <laughs> so concerned what is up guys he got a special gift surprise from angelique the extreme online down. store there's just nothing inside 
because it's right here. We have the new duck bill. I am actually going to paint match this thing. It is pretty aggressive and it is definitely nice. Let's go do like a little mock setup. Oh my. What do you think, Butters? Excuse me, buddy. Okay, let's move. Okay, he's not gonna move. Oh, and then we have some scratches here. You can scuff this out before painting it, get some perfect prep in. But no, this is super aggressive. So as you guys know, this is the OEM, the original little duck bill or trunk lip that comes with, I think the 18 plus WRXs for the VAs. And it is nice. I think it is a cool little addition. I just want something a little different. The paint match on it does look dope. So we're gonna go try to take this off right now and install the Extreme Online Store duck bill for the WRX. So for the whole time, I thought that this was like a double-sided tape, and it's not. It's actually like a foaming edge type thing so that you don't scratch the paint. Use this paint marker to make a little. Hey, hey guys, there's absolutely no going back from here. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Watch this not even be the right hole. Why do I feel like this is not the whole? So I know that there are many different kinds of like duck bills, such as like OLM or Battle Arrow, but this one has definitely got to be one of my favorites since it's like super sleek, low key, but it is still visible to the naked eye. I did get excited and carried away, so I mounted it even though I haven't got it paint matched yet. I mean, I don't know. It just gets me excited having new things on the car, so I just do stuff like this. Besides all that, I don't know if you guys can see, but EOS did ship this out with a dent right over here and some scratches and scuffs, like small things like this right over here. Luckily though, they were very nice enough to go ship us out with a brand new one, which is gonna be a total dub for us on the WRX. When it comes to duck bills, I still think that the carbon fiber trunks that have those incorporated like duck bills still look the best. But aside from all that, I feel like that's a whole different category. This is gonna be my favorite on duck bills. Spoiler wise for the WRX, I think that the STI spoiler might be on top of this as number one. I'm gonna put this one as second and possibly the battle arrow one as number three, but this has got to be my top one duckbill spoiler for the V8 WRX just because I like how it sleeks out this way. Like it makes the car look so much more sleek and slick. Like it's like zoom. I feel like now I just got to whip out my tech deck and just start skating on this like it's a quarter bite for whatever. So now that we have the rear end all dealt with, let's go talk about our front lip situation. For those of you who already know, and for those of you who don't, I've had an unpainted CS style front lip on my car that I've had since June of last year to replace the polyurethane lip that I burnt on the canyon on a random summer night. I never painted my current lip because I thought it wasn't gonna last me that long since it wasn't polyurethane, but I'm shocked because it's been seven months and the lip is holding up pretty well, except for, you know, the cracked corner where we now filled it up with body filler. So I think this front lip finally deserves some love. We threw on a black base coat with primer and a Rust-Oleum gloss clear coat since it was the only one we could find on Walmart. There was a lot of orange peel since my spring conditions were pretty sloppy. So now what we're gonna do is hit it with some wet sanding and complete the look with some polish. This thing is literally drenching right now. What I'm really hoping for is that I actually, hopefully didn't sand through the clear coat. But so far, so good. I don't think I went in too deep. There are some spots that I did not sand just because I didn't want to sand in too deep. And again, I went through some low grits and high grits just to get a good finish. And hopefully it does turn out really nice and well. All right, guys, here it is, the final touch. Looks really good, huh? Just kidding, that's not the final touch. This, oh my, dude, look at that. Look at that finish. It looks so good, oh my goodness. Look at that, to the touch, guys. Still gotta get this part over here, but this, oh my gosh, dude.
I am extremely happy with the results of the front lip and I just love the finish of it. It looks extremely professional. It looks like it came out of this from factory and the gloss versus the matte finish is just a drastic difference. So if you guys are new to the channel, this is my CS style side skirt that I installed onto the WRX. I actually never made a video on this, but this is definitely a must if you want that little bit of low effect. I thought it wasn't gonna make a difference at all because it's like super small and skinny. But when I got it, I was like, this is quite a drastic difference. I'm really happy with where the WRX is standing at this point, but it is super dirty. The car does look incredibly well and I'm super happy with the new aero pieces that we have kind of modified and added onto the car and it just, just gives it such a beautiful look, guys. Definitely brings me so much joy seeing these many views on the channel. It shows me that you guys, um, I don't know, show some sort of interest in the videos. It truly does mean a lot to me. But I just want to thank you guys for the small, small milestone of 942 subscribers. It truly means a lot to me, guys, for having you guys watch all of my videos and enjoying me have fun with my WRX. I know, I know that I have been lacking with uploading all the content and stuff. And I truly am sorry once again. I'm trying to get into my roots of being more consistent with everything that I do. So YouTube is gonna be one of them. Do me a favor guys, go like this video and go subscribe to the channel so that we can keep on making more videos for the WRX. But yeah, since I'm not super consistent with the whole YouTube thing, I'm trying my best to be to upload at least two to three times a month, hopefully even once a month. Go ahead and follow me on my Instagram so that you guys can keep up with me. I do post almost daily so you guys can just um, I don't know, keep up with my WRX and everything else that I do um, car related. Go ahead as well and follow IGSideClub.jp. We are about to hit 600 followers. I did promise a 500 follower giveaway, so we will be doing that real soon. We do post a lot of stuff and we do actually have the website open. We have a bunch of goodies on here and just a bunch of different tabs that you guys can go through. We actually do have another drop, the block hoodie drop, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and follow igcyclub.jp on Instagram to stay updated on every single thing that we post on the website. Without further ado guys, it is raining cats and dogs outside. Until the next one, I will see all of you guys. If you guys wanna see anything on the channel, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to drink your water, stay hydrated. And until the next one, I will see all of you guys. Have a good one. I'll see you later and peace.